Welcome back. You're watching Big Deal. Let's take you through the big deals that got announced. We told you first, remember, and now it's official. Z Entertainment has gone ahead and sold its sports uh, bouquet to Sony, just like we had told you last week. And Sony is going to pay about $385 million to Z Entertainment in an all-cash deal, which is expected to be completed over the next four to five months. Because they have taken 100% of the business, uh, we would have definitely uh, asked for a premium over, over the valuation. Uh, I think we've got a fair deal uh, from them. This is the intrinsic value of the business that we're giving to them. Is there any non-compete fees in this entire deal? And my second part is that, uh, can we understand it rightly that for eternity, Z will not chase the sports business? No, the deal comprises of a non-compete for four years. Uh, beyond that, we are free to explore the sports business again. And how much could be mm -hmm. the non-compete component? So there is no breakup per se. It's a composite deal and, and all these things form part of one, one consolidated valuation. And this one is coming in in the power sector. Shrey and Frost Power Arm India's uh, India Power Corporation has formed a 50-50 joint venture with Uniper. The entity is to focus on a broad range of services in the power sector. And uh, this uh, company is a German-based company which will improve the efficiency of the power units. And we did speak to the management of uh, Shrey Group uh, to find out what it brings to the table for the company. What we are bring, doing is that bringing a joint with this through this joint venture partnership, we'll be in a position to provide the services to the existing power plants and any new power plant which is coming up. So basically, the services would be on O and M. The services would be on improving the efficiency, the coal blending mechanisms which are there. They have, uh, you know, they have very well developed mechanisms to improve the efficiency of the plants and also from the emission point of view because that is something which there is a lot of fo focus on the socks and the knocks so therefore how those can be brought in. So basically we have about 200,000 megawatt of power plants which are already existing in thermal power plants. There is about 100,000 megawatt which is also in the offing. So how this, so this is a huge market. Now if we can improve the efficiency, reduce the cost, it will help the power plants and also it will help in bringing in efficiency to the generation companies which can be passed on to the distribution companies and then to the consumers at large. The world's largest conglomerate, G, has decided to sell the Indian arm of its commercial lending business and two of its top bosses have tied up with Aon Capital to acquire the business. So it's Pramod Bhaseen who has tied up along with Anil Chavla and Pramod Bhaseen tells CNBC TV18 that there's never been a better time to invest in India, especially since there's a massive room for NBFCs to grow in the country. We think it's actually the largest buyout in financial services in India and one of the largest buyouts of any kind of deal in any industry in India. So I think it's pretty historic. Um, these are businesses I, I set up when I first came to India to set up GE Capital uh, from scratch. And so it's come full circle and it's quite ironic that we are in quite fitting I think in some ways when GE Capital was selling, we were able to come in and acquire these. They have a net worth of uh, about $360 million. Um, what we, the reason we've done it is because we think it's a fantastic time to be in India. All right, with that, we'll slip into a short breather. But coming up on the other side, remember, some of the sectors are, are looking more uh, prone to deals. And we'll tell you a little bit about that from the people who are in the thick of the action. Stay tuned to Big Deal.